Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am reviewing Thinks uh, period underwear. I bought these at Urban Outfitters because they were marked down to $17 and the ones online um, are like $30 a pair. So they're kind of expensive, but I was like, ooh, for $17, hmm, I'm gonna try it out. So I bought the um, Super Absorbency. It out of five out of five droplets uh medium sized briefs um <clears throat> sorry i'm looking at the measurements oh you know what they do hip measurements and i did have those on me in the store on a note so i was oh, that's how i figured out which ones to buy um they do fit great no no problems um i didn't set up my area properly today so they looked very standard um the middle part feels um when you touch it a little bit like mm, i don't know if this is gonna be um i don't know it just feels like uh <laughs> like like thick and uncomfortable but when i put it on it was not it felt like wearing regular underwear which is exactly what i was hoping for it felt very nice um and I gave that a try and I liked it so I went ahead and bought two more boxes so now I have three pairs and uh, I have tested them on various days so um, for for the sake of giving you an accurate review I am going to be giving you a TMI um, this is your morning so the first time I used it uh, was towards the end of my period and it worked great um, because I wasn't bleeding as much obviously uh, and then when I tried it again um, with my two more pairs, uh, I used it on like the maximum days while I was at work. And they were very, very saturated by the time I got home. So like work started at like 8.30, I probably put them on around 7.30 to 8, sometime in there. And when I got home around 3.30, they were very saturated, but I did not um, feel it bleeding through into my pants. Um, I was wearing black pants. I, I would never wear something um, obvious that the blood would show up on on any day in any kind of covering on my period, but uh, this seemed to do just fine. Um, if you're concerned about it, you could absolutely bring something else with you, but I got through the day just fine, but I could tell it was like, it was at the end of its rope. So when I got home, I um, switched into regular underwear with a, uh, a regular pad. So it's not going to get you through the entire day, like 24 hours, but it will get you through a full work or school day, which is very nice. I find that it is more comfortable than wearing a pad, like you could feel a difference. It is definitely more comfortable. Um, what else? Oh, washing. It says um, to machine wash cold on gentle, and it's supposed to maintain its peak performance for 40 washes. I have only used them a couple of times, um, so I can only speak from having washed them like two or three times, but uh, nothing, no problems so far. I do use Tide Pods, which include fabric softener, but it hasn't seemed to be an issue. I just um, wash them with the rest of my black clothes and then I uh, pull them out before the dryer and I hang them up. And it takes a little while to dry because it's a big thick pad in there, but um, I think in the summer it'll definitely dry a lot faster. Um, yeah, I, I highly recommend these. However, I don't know if I want to spend $30 a pair. That's pretty steep. Like, if I only had three pairs, that's like $100 in underwear. And they're not going to last forever. They're going to last 40 washes. And, I'm, like, that's that's good, but it's like... Is still expensive I don't know I don't know it's a big upfront investment is all I'm saying like I do really like the product it's just very pricey um, and like all at once 